Across the Dark Water has been about two years in the coming. Uh, so we've been planning it since late 2013. We knew the 600th anniversary of the Battle of Agincourt was coming up and we wanted to do something really special to mark that. We focused in on the Southampton plot. We felt that was unique to this region. Uh, we felt it was really quite unknown. It was quite an exciting story that people didn't really, uh, haven't really heard uh, and we wanted to tell it. Well, I played Lord Scrope, Lord Scrope of Masson and he was a, a very close advisor of the King um, and the campaign to Wales in 1406 and then he um, slightly fell out of favour, certainly that's how it's portrayed in the play. So how he got involved in the plot is a, is a slight mystery and this play kind of and this film addresses um, the possible reasons why he might have got involved in, in the plot to assassinate someone he was actually very close to. We were really intrigued by the idea of it being digital. We knew that we wanted to tour it to really small sites and we knew we were probably only going to be able to get 40, 50 people in max and it felt like a lot of work uh, to go into only several hundred people seeing it. So we looked at how we might broaden that out and get, get more people to see it and we decided that a digital version of it would be really exciting. So they talked about this film and asked me if I'd be interested in getting involved and if I could get some students and all of that and it sounded like a fantastic work experience opportunity. We knew they'd have really uh, exciting young yeah, students who would be up for working with us and we felt that it could be a training opportunity for everybody and not just for the students, you know, for a lot of my team as well. Um, so that, that discussion was really easy. It was great to be able to, to turn up, talk to the team at the university who just said yes to everything, were excited by our ideas and the university managed to put together an extraordinary team of young people who've been working with us for well for for a couple of months in the planning but just for a week in filming it's been pretty intense to try and shoot the whole film in five days mm. um, but they've risen to that challenge extraordinarily well the end product is going to be five uh, episodes about 10 to 12 minutes length um, the first release is going to be 23rd of september and then one episode each week it's quite original I've certainly never done it before, um, to film a, a play, except unless it's actually been filmed on the stage on which you're performing it, in a, in a pretty much you're filming the theatrical version just with some close-ups. Um, but to take it out on location is, is very unusual and, um, and it's really fascinating. Um, and it'll be interesting to see what, when we go back into the rehearsal room tomorrow morning to try and remember what the play is like and then perform it on Tuesday, how this experience will inform what we do on stage and I'm sure it will to a degree because particularly the evening when we spent at the Hamble River when we're actually there looking out across the dark water um, as opposed to having to imagine it we're on stage we're sitting standing there looking over the audience imagining that's the river but having actually had that sensory experience I'm sure will feed into our performance next week so yeah, it's, it's been a really exciting and unusual project. What's been really amazing about it is the quality of the work that the students have produced has been outstanding. Actually, it's went way past my expectations. And that is for both the film crew and the edit crew. I think that's been brilliant. I think the point team are incredibly professional. The actors are amazing. And it's been a privilege to do this project. Uh, my job in this project is to be a camera operator and I'm really enjoying it because I've been supervised by uh, great professionals. I've been working since um, Monday, it's been five days so far. We have been to various of locations trying to represent what happened and it's been an amazing opportunity for me as a second year student to be part of such a project. I like the fact that it's really well organized. Like I. I never knew that so much planning has to go into um, doing a drama film and, and once we're there on site and how much preparation comes out and all the costumes arrives and everything is really timed and it's just, I don't know, it just it feels like you're part of this big uh, operation which, is, which just gets me more excited about doing it and uh, you, you, just see, you see the results by the editing team like every night as well and just like wow, this is actually going to be really good to see and a great thing to put on my portfolio. Being able to get this opportunity to work on a professional in a professional environment with professional actors and professional crew members it's just been amazing like I wouldn't have 
like starting university, I wouldn't have thought I'd been able to get an experience like this by my second year. So I can't imagine what I'd be able to do once I've left university. Plus, uh, BBC requested some footage as well from the scenes to broadcast it on live on the television and promote the across the dark water. Everyone's been really kind of um, sort of up for it and affable and very very warm. Uh, and there's been a nice sort of sense of kind of, it's, it's felt collaborative, it's felt genuinely collaborative and I think that's the kind of most rewarding aspect of doing any kind of creative work is when you feel that everyone's got a kind of, you know, an interest in it. Um, but alongside the good attitudes obviously there's a level of professionalism which I think um, stands testament to your qualities uh, and indeed the quality of uh, the, the teaching at uh, Solent uh, University. It's been a great experience for all of us and I can't wait till the the five episodes come out, plus we've got a premiere, a showing, and we've got the, the thing all stitched together as a full feature. So it's a fabulous output, and it's an amazing CV uh, credential for all the students involved. And it's an amazing learning experience just to be here and just to be around it and see people work is incredible.